wonderful day, it's a bright new day. I want to, I would like to welcome you to our lower primary celebration of learning. Uh, my name is Miss Robina, I'm the library teacher. It's been a wonderful year working with everyone. I'll be your host tonight and my co-host. Thank you everyone, I'm Mr. Hudson, the ICT teacher. And um, we are here to present to you a celebration of learning. But before we get to that, let me take this opportunity to introduce someone very special to us who is very dedicated, a parent, very understanding. Um, and she has been with us for the past six years heading the primary department. Everyone, Michelle for you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Sharon Baguma. I head the primary department. On behalf of Econ's International School, Kampala, I would like to take this opportunity to welcome and thank you for coming to witness our PYP Celebration of Learning 2020. In light of the COVID-19 pandemic, this year's Celebration of Learning has missed out the traditional milestones like the beautiful creative costumes, the physical staging of the school, auditorium, and much more. But we are still here to celebrate. Even without them, students have been able to learn and they have conquered. Please students, you need to take this opportunity to celebrate your achievements. We are proud of you and acknowledge your outstanding work. When we started the third term, Ms. Amina, the head of school, informed us that we were going to have all the activities we had planned for the third term online. I wasn't sure how it was going to look like, especially year six graduation and this celebration of learning. Thanks to all of you students who have proved to us that you still learned. I thank you for being open-minded and courageous. Today, you have not only proved to us that you are knowledgeable, but also excellent communicators. A big round of applause to all our students. Thank you, Ms. Amina, for the guidance, your zeal and dedication to the task of leading this institution to greater heights have been enormous. PYP teachers, you have gone beyond your safe haven and have consistently worked collaboratively to ensure that every student receives valuable experiences from online lessons. Thanks for the tireless efforts in providing the highest quality educational experiences to the students. To our parents, I welcome you to this special celebration. I cannot thank you enough for your unique partnership in this journey, having to practice work-life balance like never before. Thank you for the sacrifice and for being involved in your child's education. We cannot thank you enough for your responses and positive feedback that fired us with enthusiasm. And to the entire AIS community, we appreciate all your support and contributions. Thank you for coming to celebrate with us. The students have lots of activities to share with us today, ranging from habitats to climates to responsibility, Kiswahili, and much more. Without further delay, let's start our celebration. Thank you, Ms. Shalon, for the wonderful words. Would like to take this moment to introduce Ms. Amina Lalani, our head of school. Ms. Amina has been with Econ's International School for the last eight years. Having worked in the three different countries in the education sector, she started the primary department at AIS with only four students. And she harbored a dream to make AIS an IB continuum school. Today we are almost there. Uh, Miss Amina has a double master's, including one in education, specializing in IB teaching and learning. Miss Amina has shown off her academic excellency and leadership skills with her stand 
in various roles as an, I, as an international educator, a teacher educator, a PYP coordinator and her contributions in several voluntary organizations at, are at a top most level. Let me call upon our head of school, Ms. Amelia Lelani, to give us a word. Greetings, AIS family. 2019-2020 academic year had begun on a very ambitious road with buzzing classrooms, green fields, lively dance and drama studios, and laughter rides in the corridors. We fasten our seat belts with four international visit, PYP verification visit, which usually happens at the end of five years of authorization cycle, MYP and DP authorization visits, Cambridge IGCSE, authorization visit and this was also our first year of year 11 cohort graduating and many more such events. Though our first two terms almost went as planned and we were meeting set targets, the closure of the campus in the wake of COVID-19 pandemic came as a shock towards the end of second term. There were so many dilemmas to deal with at that time. Will we ever return to the school this academic year? Shall we continue to do what we are meant to do, that is to educate irrespective of whatever the circumstance may be? Will people, staff and the parents will rise to the occasion to accept this new norm? Are we competent enough to mitigate this unprecedented situation? Should we continue classes or not? If yes, how to continue these classes online as successfully as it could be in the campus? In addition to all this we were also following global and local government directives. I'm proud and massive kudos to my entire community of AIS, teachers, students, parents, auxiliary staff, everyone for powering through and turning this situation around. For me, as head of school, addressing the situation was the start of the journey of discovery. Initially, we began to hear from you through surveys, phone calls, emails and moved our teaching to online and started experimenting with variety of formats to find the best solution for your students, including live classes, pre-recorded sessions and other virtual forums. We also had to be realistic about the technology and students and staff may have available to them and the strength of their internet and the power cut being in Uganda. I'm also aware of your concerns of less teaching time, increased screen time, less personal touch, increased parent responsibilities. By the way, that is also applicable to my staff. Early closure in term two and extended term three and so many more such questions. Though we were thrown into this almost overnight and not certain about how long this would go on and what would be the best way forward, I am proud that we all came together in every way possible through various surveys, emails, phone calls, Zoom PTMs and in every way possible we connected to each other. Your parents voiced your concerns and I've also seen some true exemplars of lifelong learners over the past few weeks amidst my team of teachers and HODs and my students who had now two teachers to report to, one their school teacher and other one the parent. I'm proud of all that we have connected in a way, in a best way possible during this lockdown. We then tasked ourselves with working out and finishing term three without compromising on any event or activity. AIS Online has been a huge success and a role model for the schools around. And I'm extremely proud to announce that we successfully accomplished all four visits. And now we are, of course, Cambridge authorized, PYP authorized, DP authorized school, and soon to be MYP authorized. And that will make us IB Continuum School very soon. This will be a huge milestone in the history of AIS as the first steps towards this realization of this dream began in 2012-2013 academic year as me being the PYP coordinator and we continue to work relentlessly towards this dream. There's a saying, teamwork makes a dream work, which is essentially true with AIS. Firstly, you parents trust, students love for the school, Director's conviction and faith, my teaching and non-teaching staff who are the lifeblood of AIS and my team of heads of department, they have been my pillar of strength. 
As it is said, change is only constant thing. There will be a small change in my team of heads of department for the next academic year. With a heavy note, I wish to thank and say goodbye to Mr. Charles. Charles has been with AIS from secondary department inception and it is for everyone to see evidently how the department has grown from seven students in year seven to almost 100 in that department. Thank you, Charles, for all the hard work and great work at AIS. We wish you all the best for your future endeavors. On this sad note, we also would like to say goodbye to Mr. Kyle, who has been with these students throughout the secondary department and responsible for the successful DP and soon-to-be MYP authorization. Your calmness, simplicity, and commitment to not use the smartphone and the marathon runs can never be replaced. With a heavy heart, we will say goodbye to you both this year as you take up new adventures and challenges ahead in your life, leaving AIS in a very good position that you had promised and committed for. If there are goodbyes, welcome can't be far behind, right? I welcome Mr. Ken, who with his simplicity, great articulation skills, critical thinking skills, and leadership skills have been accelerated as our DP A-Levels coordinator. Being part of AIS team as a math teacher, he has a great hold over the content knowledge of DP and A-Level programs, and most importantly, he is a team player. I also would like to welcome Mr. Sam Weavers as our MYP coordinator who brings with him over 12 years of teaching experience in international school sectors and is based in Uganda. You will see him in action very soon. Welcome Mr. Ken and Mr. Sam. I am certain that with you joining the current team of heads of department, fresh ideas, creativity and academic excellence, we will take AIS to newer heights. I'm also proud that Acorns International School has stepped up to the occasion during this lockdown. We didn't let any event activity to be affected by this lockdown, be it assessments, PYP exhibitions, PTMs, graduation ceremonies or celebration of learning. Our year 11 students underwent IGCSE year 11 exams with Cambridge International virtually and now are engaged with MYP personal project. Our year 6 students took up the challenge of taking up their exhibition virtually and not only excelled at it but became the true exemplary models of IB education. Well done students. Sometimes I wonder, other times I'm in awe and mostly proud about all that we've achieved during these unprecedented times. Who would have thought that we can do international visits, exhibition, celebration of learning, exams, everything virtually but we not only did this, but we did it very successfully and been ahead of the game. In conclusion, though, I will say that the current situation is like a bandit to the pandemic. Students are not going to receive the same type of education they thought they were for some time, at least till when we don't have a concrete response to the pandemic. So be kind to yourself as parents and your children. It's much more important for them to feel supported and I'll request my staff to keep the teaching simple, set achievable projects. They are working incredibly hard to give you the best experience they can, but don't know all the answers either. Try not to worry too much about your future in the industry. Everyone will always know that this was an exceptional time and will get through this as well. During this lockdown, we have changed the look of the website and also made newsletters interactive and digital. Gone international with our school and exhibition stories on ISA and IB websites and also launched first digital yearbook of AIS. Catch up with all the action through website and CPR group messages. Right now, our AIS community is stronger than ever. Our educators are showing in innovation and persistence to make sure learning doesn't stop. Our non-teaching staff is trying equally hard to keep the campus green, safe, healthy so that we can return to school tomorrow if that is an option. Our student body is lending hand and uplifting each other in new ways. Directors are supporting us in every way possible 
and our parents, you have taken up the additional roles like teacher, friend, mentor, critic, and maybe a spy as well in some cases, in addition to being super moms and dads. For all this and more, we say thank you. We are grateful to you. We are grateful to the AIS family for rising to the challenge in these unprecedented times. This is the moment we live the AIS vision and mission statements to inspire and empower each other. Thank you all. Thank you, Miss Amina, for sharing with us such a wonderful message. Now let's get to the presentations. Um, our first presentation is going to be from Yatsu Gorillas and they are going to present to us the water cycle and in this video we are going to learn about the different processes which include evaporation, condensation, precipitation and collection. Everyone enjoy! Parents, teachers and students, hello! We are the Year 2 Gorillas. For the celebration of learning, we are going to present the water cycle. Please enjoy. I wonder how the water is recycled. I wonder why we could see the water when it comes down, but not when it goes up. I wonder how the sun evaporates water and how it turns into rain. I wonder where water goes. To find out the answers to all these questions, let us learn about the water cycle. I am a large body of water. I cover two-thirds of the earth. The rivers merge into me and I am an ocean. I am a long flowing body of water. I am a river. My water comes from rain, snow, and springs. I am the sun. I am full of heat. With my heat, I evaporate water from oceans, rivers, and lakes. I am water vapor. You can't see me. I float up to the sky because I am so light. This process is called evaporation. I am a water vapor too. I'm going to join my friends and become a cloud. Transpiration is the evaporation of water from plants and trees. The water worn by the sun turns into vapor and passes up through thousands of tiny pores under the leaves. When all water vapor comes together, a cloud forms. This process is called condensation. In the beginning, I am very light and white. Lots of water vapor has joined me. I'm now grey clouds. I'm no longer light and white. I'm ready to fall on earth. I am mind coming back to earth again. I can fall in the form of snow, rain and hailstorm. This process is called precipitation. When water falls back to earth as precipitation, it may fall back in the oceans, lakes or rivers or it may end up on land. When water ends up on land, it will either soak into the earth and become part of groundwater, or it will run over the soil. When the water gets collected in the oceans, lakes or rivers, this is called accumulation. The water cycle starts all over again. We started our water cycle journey in the ocean. Evaporation took us to the clouds where we learned about condensation, precipitation and accumulation. To complete our journey, the water cycle brought us back to the ocean. Thank you, you two gorillas. That was amazing. So, let me welcome our next presentation from Yawan Tulips. Hmm. They've prepared a song about space. They're going to say few uh, few facts about the solar system. Let's enjoy this video. Yeah, yeah. Right. Do we have a stage? Yes, we have. What about oh. the lights? B 
be damn right. We're gonna need a curtain. Of course we do. And I've got light too. too. That's like what we'll do. do. We're putting on a show. There's lots from ear to ear. We're putting on a show. Our moms and dads will cheer. Come on, everybody, let's go. We're putting on a show. planet in our solar system. It is so hot that even metals will melt and become liquid. The third planet from the sun is Earth or home. The fourth planet from the sun is Mars. Mars is a red planet with two moons. The fifth planet from the sun is Jupiter. Jupiter is a planet. The sixth planet of the sun is Saturn. Saturn has many rings around it of ice and stone. Uranus is the seventh planet from the sun and the coldest planet in our solar system. Neptune is the planet closest to the sun. It's a big blue planet made out of ice and stone. Wow, it was really such a nice video from the Yawa Tulips. Everybody, let's give them a hand clap. All right, now we are going to have our next presentation from the year two lemurs and they are going to present to us a poem about community life in French. Do you know some French? Bonjour. Bonjour. Everyone, enjoy. C'est comme communauté, on va les raconter. Comme organisation, je vais amener. M comme membre de notre communauté. Bonjour les amis, venez, venez, écoutez pour maman et marche avec moi vers notre communauté. Petit et grand, toutes les cultures, vous êtes tous invités. Car nous partenons à une même société. Aimer comme membre de notre communauté. Une communauté avec les cultures. Une comme nous tous, assemblée fraternité. Bonjour les amis, venez, venez écouter. Programme et mange avec moi vers notre communauté. Petit Hugo, toutes les coutumes, vous êtes invités. Car nous s'appartenons à une même société. Il comme intégrité pour un monde au paix. Des comme tous les hosts. De toutes 
let's visit on the day. A great calm, yoo-hoo, sacrifice pour les bien de tous. Bonjour les amis, venez, venez, écoutez. Et dire à tous les petits, nous appartenons à la même société. Je suis communauté, tu es communauté, nous sommes communauté. C-O-M-M-U-N-I-T-Y Community Bonjour, thank you, you're to Limas. That was beautiful. Okay, our next presentation will come from Yao and Sunflowers. I enjoyed this video. It's a video about growing and changing how you and me, how plants and animals, how everything grows and changes every day. Do you want to watch this? Let's enjoy it. And I'm going to talk about growing and changing. You and I are going to change every day. When I say living things, I mean the things that have life. The people, the animals, the insects, and all the lovely birds. All living things grow, all living things change, all living things change in size, height, and range. All living things grow, all living things change, all living things change in size, height and weight. All living things can do these things. They can breathe, they can eat, they can produce young ones, but sadly, they all die at some time. For the plants, their cycle starts with a seed. The seed goes into a seed, later becomes a plant. All living things grow, all living things change, all living things change in size, height, and weight. In order for plants to grow, put the seeds in the soil, water them every day, ensure they receive sunlight, later they will grow. Good. All living things go through a life cycle. The butterfly. At first, it's an egg. Then, a caterpillar. Then, a pupa. And lastly, a beautiful butterfly comes out. All living things grow, all living things change. All living things change in size, height, and weight. All living things grow. All living things change all living things change in size in height and in weight for the hen is at first an egg then the egg hatches into a chick and later the chick goes into a hen i grow and they first a fetus, then a baby, then an infant, later a teenager, an adult, and finally an elderly. When people grow, also their brains grow, then they start thinking. For you and I to grow, eat healthy food, drink plenty of water, and exercise regularly. Thank you, Miss Mayan. Thank you, Miss Fiona. We are going to miss you when we go to year two. Bye bye. Thank you, your one sunflowers. That was a very wonderful video. Uh, now let's uh, welcome the year three polar bears. They connected their pond to the unit of inquiry. It's about natural resources. How can we do a part to better take care of Mother Nature? Have you thought about that? Let's enjoy this video from polar bears.
Year three polar bears present to you a spoken word poem about natural resources. Here's how we see it. What kind of picnic would it be without a fruit? Walking down in the backyard or the park? Without the chirp of birds, without the color of bees or butterflies. What kind would it be without the fresh breeze? Without the coolness from the trees, without the freshness of water. It will be a shame, a tragedy, if one day the wind caught us unaware and left us all bare. Do we know? Do we know how long will it take? Do we know for sure? We squeeze and shake and block our homes. The construction in swamps, poaching, rather deforestate than afforestate, misuse than reuse, not only to We have polluted the air, the water, the earth, and we know it. We have evicted animals from their homes that is meant for the most of us. We've been greedy. Not Mother Nature, no, she's been good to you and I. Not us. We refuse to reduce or reuse what is the excuse. Is recycle enough? Are we recycling? Let's raise up, let's raise up. Now, now. And pitch in before all is gone. Before we can't have it all back. If I cut a tree, plant two, plant three, plant more. Let's have a conviction to stop the animal infection. Let's remove all waste that is choking our water bodies and its residents. Let's recycle more. Let's all go clean. Go green for Mother Nature to have a green. You and I can do this. Yes, we can. Wow, that was really perfect. Okay, our next presentation is going to be from the Yawa Daisies, and they're going to present to us a song about. Our next presentation is from Yathri Beavers, 
who connected their videos still to their unit of inquiry. These students are learning a lot and everything is about uh, all in a day's work. And their video focuses on uh, how they use their self-management skills to be productive during this whole pandemic and lockdown season. Let's enjoy this video. Hello parents, teachers and friends. This is your three beavers presenting a documentary on the units all in a day's work. Self-management skills are abilities that allow people to control their thoughts, feelings and actions to achieve a goal. So we are showing you how beavers have used self-management skills to be functional members during the society in the lockdown. Enjoy! I have managed my time by doing tasks set by the teacher on Google Classroom and Study Ladder. I have become a bit of cool while with my mom. I can make pizza and solve the problem when it's hungry. I am okay. Yes. I care about my friends who can hurt and I have given them a sense of security. I helped my brother with his work so that he meets his deadlines. I stayed out of danger by following the guidance of the global COVID-19 pandemic. I wash the dishes after every meal. I have learned how to be more organized. I keep my bedroom clean. This is how I resist the stress during the lockdown by doing gymnastics. This is a challenging time, but you have the power over your mind, not the outside world. Realize this you will get the strength to move forward. See the beauty which remains in every situation. Even in trouble, there is also an opportunity. Danger is always within us, so we must be safe. We must be responsible for our lives. We should be open-minded. Let us be respectful and always kind. Life is hard, but we need our lives and education. Therefore, we should prove it and focus on a new experience. Stay positive, stay safe. Be blessed, the beavers. Thanks to my teachers. Did you all get to see that? Okay, our next presentation is going to be from the Year 2 Chimps. And they are going to present to us how they recycle items to better combat the coronavirus. Number 
to always sanitize to prevent coronavirus. This is a reusable mask. Wash it up to use. You need to disinfect surfaces. Face mask, very simple, and you can all try it at home. I am a robot, please and pay for coronavirus by no hugging, wear a mask, social distancing, and use a call sanitizer. Hi everyone, hope you do what my robot says to stop the spread of corona. Contact me for more protection rules. Thank you, Yato chimpanzees. That was really wonderful. You have taught us very many things. They have showed us masks. Uh, what else? They show us sanitizers, how they made them. That was really wonderful and helpful. And then our last performance will come from the year three otters. I didn't want this to end, but we have to. So let's continue with the last performance. And this video is still related to the unit of inquiry about role models. Do you have a role model? Do you have one? Well, let's hear from the otters and enjoy the video. Welcome to the Year 3 Otters presentation. In our class we have learned many units, but today we have decided to focus on role models. Each one of us wants to be like someone in this world. And as Year 3 Otters, we have decided to be like those who have inspired this world positively in different areas. Mohamed Salah, he's an Egyptian footballer. He plays as a forward in the Egyptian team, as well as the Premier League team Liverpool. My role model was Michelle Robinson Obama. She was an American lawyer and the first lady of the United States from 2009 to 2017. Saint he is a Jamaican rock and field athletic. He is also the fastest man in history world record wide of 9.58 seconds. My role model is Dr. Ben Carson. He is a brain doctor. He works on people's brains. He separated twins whose heads were joined together. Nelson Mandela was the first black head of state. He fought for the peace of the country and won the Nobel Peace Prize. My role model is Marie Curie, or if you call her Madame Curie. She discovered two new chemical elements, radium and polonium. She carried out the first research into the treatment of tumors with radiations, and she formed the Curie institutions, which are important medical research centers. Queen Elizabeth, she is the world's greatest supporter of charities in Britain. And with the support of the rest of the royal family, they open a grand total of 2,450, which is almost 3,000 worldwide charities in Britain. Lama Magarsa is an Ethiopian politician and currently serves as the Minister of Defense of Ethiopia. He always listens and sides with oppressed people. My role model is Manatomodi. He is an Indian politician.
serving as the current Prime Minister of India. He has tried to raise foreign direct investment in the India economy. My favorite role model is Kalpana Chawla. She was an American astronaut engineer and first woman of Indian origin to go to space. She first flew on Space Shuttle Columbia in 1997 as a mission specialist and primary robotic arm operator. My role model is Nick Fujiki. He used his faith in God and support from family and friends to overcome his troubles. He became an inspirational speaker by 19 and used his story to help others. Malala Yousafzai. She has been nominated for the International Children's Peace Prize in 2011. She has also been awarded Pakistan's National Youth Peace Prize in 2011 at the age of 30. Stanley, he was an American comic book writer and he created Spider-Man, Iron Man, X-Men, and many others. My role model is Mother Teresa. She dedicated her life to charity. She was one of the most selfless people to have ever lived. She was recognized in 1979 when she won the Nobel Peace Prize. Abdul Kalam. He was an Indian scientist and politician who played a leading role in the development of India's missile and nuclear weapons program. Thank you, Otters. That was really wonderful. I do have a role model, but I'll say it, I'll, I'll talk about him next time. Uh, uh, with our closing remarks, I would like to welcome Miss Nishita, our Head of Administration and Admissions. Miss Nishita, welcome. Good morning, AIS family. We hope you enjoyed our little celebration of learning. I know pandemic celebrations have not been the best. But if there's one thing that this pandemic has taught us, it is to seize every moment, to not let those little victories and joys go by while waiting for that one big moment. Term 3 at AIS has been exactly that, breaking boulders into pebbles to clear our path. I would like to take this opportunity as the academic year draws to a close to thank every teacher at AIS who has burned the midnight lamp and has only proved what an important cog in the AIS machinery they are. I would also like to thank every parent, every staff member and every member of the AIS family to make this term the success that it has been. We hope when we return from our holidays, we emerge on the better side of this pandemic. Either way, we look forward to another academic year that is filled with as much enthusiasm as we are closing this one. Wish you all a wonderful holiday, one that you have really earned. We hope the next few days are filled with rejuvenation, a digital detox perhaps, but lots of fun for sure. Happy holidays. Thank you, Ms. Nishita. Thank you, parents and students, for watching this, for tuning in. Uh, please, let's continue to like our Facebook page. You will have very, very wonderful things up there. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe.